with coverage you can count on. Now your first Warren 5 forecast with meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Snowvember still in full sprint, uh, full swing rather, across the region tonight as we have still plenty of light to moderate snow falling across the region, making for some dicey commuting conditions out there tonight. So if you do have to travel, make sure you give yourself plenty of extra time and watch out for some of those icy roadways that are going to become more common as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Here's a look at your first Warren 5 pinpoint Doppler radar, and we're starting to see a little bit of a break developing in the snow where it's basically dropping off to a little more than a few flurries in areas around say Midland and north of Bay City through about Gladwin and Standish. More on that part in just a moment. First though, where the snow is still widely falling around much of Tuscola County through Genesee and Shiawassee and Lapeer counties, much of Saginaw County too. Still seeing some light to moderate snow falling at this hour. You can see all along the I-69 corridor and especially the southern extent of 75 and 23 tonight. Take it slow. We've already had plenty of accidents. Of course, a big one across the I-75 southbound around Birch Run, where it brought traffic to a complete standstill earlier today, and almost dozens more accidents around the region being reported throughout the course of the day. There's that break, though. We mentioned a little bit of dry air kind of filtering in between the now developing lake effect snow to the north and the departing lingering snow with our clipper system, and that'll be the ongoing trend as we'll lose a lot of the steadier snow tonight, but a lot of that lake effect will start to kick back in. Over Saginaw tonight, very snowy scene regardless. You can see some traffic heading by in the uh, downtown area tonight. Current temperature at 25 degrees. The real feel farther down into the teens tonight. And as we head to the vehicle city over downtown Flint, a snow covered main thoroughfare there where the temperature also in the middle 20s, but the real feel 17 degrees when you factor in those westerly winds tonight. Not really going to give a bother with the rest of the temperatures tonight because this is what it really feels like with the wind chills. 14, the real feel in Port Hope feels like 12 degrees for you in Oscoda this evening as these winds will start to pick back up a little bit. Starting to see some single digit readings coming back in the wind chills at Houghton Lake where it feels like 8 degrees. That will become an increasingly common trend tonight and likely a lot of wind chills, especially in some more extreme cases, will drop below zero. Here's the hope though that we've been mentioning. Remember this map a couple of days ago when we showed you the national picture? It was the vast majority covered in blue, indicating those colder temperatures. We're starting to see a little bit of milder air pushing back against this Arctic air mass. It's part of a high pressure system that's going to migrate in our direction over the next couple of days. Once it pushes this snowy system out of the picture and ultimately shuts down the lake effect pattern, we'll show you where the high is right now, which is centered basically just over the southern plains as that slides into the region. We'll develop more of a southwesterly wind and that'll pull at least some of those milder readings into the picture. So let's go to your first one five hour by hour forecast. Just seeing that gradual tapering trend in the steadier snows this evening, leaving plenty of lake effect to the west and even into the south tomorrow, and it may overspread the area from time to time. Pretty similar to what we saw during the day yesterday. But then notice by the time we get to Friday, things shut down completely, partly to mostly sunny skies take over. Haven't been able to say that much in the last couple of weeks, and we'll keep that going into the end of the day on Friday. So 18 the overnight low tonight with those lingering snow showers. Also those single digit to below zero wind chills heading into tomorrow. A high of only about 24 more snow showers and coming up in the seven day forecast at six o'clock. We'll show you when the snow is finally going to hit the brakes and Doug will tell you about what looks to be a weekend thaw finally getting back above freezing oh, for the first I know, time in right? forever. I tell you what, you get this early taste and you just think, how long is this winter yeah. going to be after last winter? Let's hope it's getting it out of its system now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Brian.